Hey guys, Brett here, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the software that I created for my own business to get more opens, more clicks, and make more money. But first, I want to show you how I built a seven-figure internet marketing business from scratch, and how I almost lost it through no fault of my own twice. And when I first started my internet marketing business, I used MailChimp to send out my emails. And the reason I used MailChimp is because they had a free plan, and quite frankly at the time, I couldn't afford to pay an expensive autoresponder. And then one day I logged in my account and I got a message that said it was suspended. I was not able to send emails anymore. I'm not really sure what I did. I had a good open rate, I had a good response rate, and my spam complaints were low. Just one day out of the blue they let me know that I was no longer able to send emails with their system. Even worse, when I went and sent in a support ticket asking why I wasn't able to send emails, they completely ignored me. They just canceled my account and ignored any contact attempts that I made after that. So basically what happened is overnight I lost my business because in the IM business if you can't send emails you are not in business. I woke up one morning and my business was completely gone, completely taken away from me. Fortunately I had saved backups of my email list so I was able to look for another autoresponder service. I ended up going over to Aweber, not because they were my first choice but because they were one of the few that actually allowed me to upload my existing list. And of course they didn't allow me to upload my entire list though. They filtered out some of the emails and I ended up losing about 30% of my existing list. They never really gave me any explanation as to why they were filtering out those emails. These were emails from people that were opening my messages that wanted to get my messages but for one reason or another without any explanation Aweber simply said that I couldn't upload those emails to their servers. But at least I had 70% of my list in an autoresponder and I was able to send out emails again. Honestly at the time I was happy with that because it's better than being completely out of business. Things with Aweber were great for a while. I built my list up to over 9,000 subscribers, I was getting great open rates, I was getting high click rates, and I was getting low spam complaints. Everything was wonderful and I was happy that I was actually making money in the internet marketing business. All my hard work and effort was finally paying off. In fact, I was getting much higher responses than the industry standard. I was getting 20 to 22 open rates, 10 to 12 percent click rates, low complaint rates, and low bounces. And then one day, all of that changed. All of a sudden, I started getting hundreds of bounces from my emails. I didn't know what had happened. I thought that I was doing something wrong. So I called Aweber up and I asked them what I had done to cause this huge increase in bounces, which was also giving me a decrease in my opens and in my clicks. And you know what they told me? They told me that I didn't do anything wrong. They told me that the problem was a spammer on their system had caused one of their IP addresses to get a bad reputation. So in essence what had happened was somebody else using the Aweber platform had hurt everybody inside of the Aweber platform. Even people like me who were sending good solid emails to people who had actually subscribed. In essence, I was personally suffering not for something that I had done, but because I was using a multi-user system that had allowed a negative user to sneak in and hurt the entire platform. After a while, I noticed that the bounces weren't so high anymore, but I wasn't getting anywhere near as many opens. Where I was getting 2,000, 2,300, 2,400 opens on a single email, now I was only getting 1,500, 1,400, 1,300, and sometimes even much less. And I started to get worried. I thought that I was losing touch with my customers. I thought I was losing my list, and I thought I was losing my business. So once again, I called Aweber and I asked them if I was doing something wrong. I asked them if there was a problem with me. And once again, they told me the problem wasn't with me. The problem was with them. The problem was with their system and their system being on blacklists because a spammer had gotten into their network and was using Aweber in a negative way. Once again, I was being hurt, not from what I had done, but because I was using a multi-user system and a negative user was hurting everybody. After a couple of months, I had enough. I decided that it was time to create my own system. It was time to create my own way to send out emails to my subscribers so that I don't have to rely on anybody 
but myself. And because of this, I started working on the Mailit WordPress plugin. Now, after nearly six months of development, I felt that I had a reliable system. I felt that I had a system that I could not only sell to my customers, but that I could also use in my own business. So I decided to put my money where my mouth is. I decided to bite the bullet delete my Aweber list and put my entire business in the hands of my Mailit WordPress plugin. So here are some of the results that I've been getting with the Mailit WordPress plugin. And I wanted to use it in my own business for two reasons. First of all, I wanted to get better open rates and better deliverability than I was getting with the autoresponders. And second of all, because I strongly feel that if I'm going to ask people to trust their business in the hands of my software, I should be willing to trust my own business in the hands of the very same software. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the email opens and click rates that I've gotten. So the first one I'm going to show you is my review for Facebook Live Wire. And you can see here, I got 2,080 opens with the very first email that I sent. I got a 21% open rate to that email. Now that email didn't have a clickable link in it, so it doesn't show me any clicks, but I want you to see the open rate. Immediately, as soon as I started using my Mail at WordPress plugin, with the very same list that I was sending to Aweber, I went from 1,200 opens to 2,000 opens. How about my review for Luke McGuire's InstaViral software? Let's go ahead and take a look at that one. And you can see I got 2,000 opens, 21%. 994 unique clicks. I got a 21% open rate and a 10% click rate. Now that's more like it. That's the kind of email open rates and click rates that I want to get. Not the 12 or 1300 opens that I had been getting before with my regular autoresponder. But let's not stop there. Let's look at a few more of them. So this one actually went down a little bit. I only got 1,964 open rates and 940 unique clicks. It's still a 19% open rate and a still 9% click rate, which is still much better than I was getting before with my regular autoresponder. Now this is slightly lower, but hey, they can't all be as high as the other ones. But you know what? Maybe they actually can. Let's see what happened when I sent out for a private webinar that I did with my partner, Mike from Maine. And here it is, 2,320 opens. I got a 20% open rate. Now the click rate was a little lower on this because it was a webinar sign up. It wasn't a link to a review on my review blog. But I want you to notice that open rate. 20%, 2,320 opens from an 11,000 email list. This is well above the average industry open rate, and it's well above what I was getting with the traditional autoresponder. It's right back to where I was getting with the autoresponder before the autoresponder started having a ton of trouble because they let a spammer into their network, which hurt everybody, even the people who were sending good, solid emails. Now, there are actually two big myths that people love to quote when they talk about using a self-hosted mailing service. The first one is that they're not going to get the deliverability. And as you can see, I just proved that wrong. I actually get a better deliverability sending with my Mail at WordPress plugin than I did with my high-priced autoresponder. The second thing that they love to say is that your IP address is going to get banned. That as soon as you start sending out mass emails, your IP address is going to get blacklisted and you're not going to get in on the inbox anymore and your reputation is going to get destroyed. And I want to go ahead and disprove that one right now. So here we are, we're on sender score and you can feel free to do this yourself as well if you want to test this yourself. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in my domain's IP address. So I'm just going to type it in here. I'm going to check the captcha to show that I'm actually not a robot. I'll click on view report. And as you can see, this IP address is the real IP address for my host. There's my host name, brettretecki.com. There is my rating. I am rated as a high volume sender. You can actually see my volume has shot way up as I started using this in my own business. And look at my sender score. It is 99 out of 100. A perfect sender score is 100. My sender score for my IP address sending with my Mail at WordPress plugin is literally 
almost a perfect sender score. So don't think that because you're sending from your own IP address or sending from a WordPress plugin that you're automatically going to get blacklisted and your IP address is going to get banned. That is completely false as long as you're sending good emails to people who opted in, as long as you're not spamming, and as long as you're using a system that sends out the emails in the proper format, you are going to be treated as a good sender. As you can see, I am treated as a near perfect sender. So now that I have the Mail at WordPress plugin and I'm using it in my business, I can upload anybody I want to my email list. I don't have anybody telling me who I can send to and who I can't send to. I don't have anybody telling me how much I can send and when I can send. I don't have anybody telling me what I can send. And best of all, I'm not paying a huge monthly fee. I'm sending out as many emails as I like, as often as I like, without restriction and without any monthly fee paid to an autoresponder. I have been using the Mail It WordPress plugin exclusively for my business for quite some time now and I intend to continue using it exclusively for my business. If you're tired of paying a high monthly fee, if you're tired of having the autoresponders tell you what you can upload and who you can send to, if you're tired of not getting your emails in people's inboxes because the autoresponders are having problems, then you need the Mail It WordPress plugin. The Mail It WordPress plugin is something that I use personally in my own business. I've sent out hundreds of thousands of emails with it and I've made tens of thousands of dollars. This is something that everybody serious about making money online needs. You can get the Mail It WordPress plugin right now for the introductory launch price. So click below and get your access right now.